Hey guys, it's SpaceX time. Welcome to another video of SpaceX updates. In this video, I'm gonna talk about two big updates regarding Starship. So, let's start the video. Just a few hours ago, SpaceX launched its 37th mission of the year. Starlink 427 mission successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida at 3.21 p.m. Falcon 9 Booster B-1062 carried another batch of 53 Starlink satellites into orbit and successfully landed back on Earth on the drone ship. This mission was SpaceX's 18th dedicated Starlink mission in 2022. As another mission goes up, Another mission comes down. SpaceX Cargo Dragon Mission CRS-25 departed from the ISS earlier today and is on its way back to Earth. There is not much big thing going on at the Starbase at the moment. Although, teams are still preparing the orbital launch mount for Booster 7 static fire. Works on the chopstick arms still continue. Inside the high bay, Starship SN-25's nose cone section has been seen stacking upon the payload bay section. We may not see any major testing or development until the next road closure on Monday. Okay, let's hear the big news. SpaceX has announced its first commercial customer of Starship launch service. The Sky Perfect JSET Group will become SpaceX's first publicly announced commercial customer to launch a satellite using Starship. The Sky Perfect JSET Group is a Japanese corporate group that claims to be Asia's largest satellite communication and multi-channel pay TV company. The contract was announced on August 18 and was later confirmed by SpaceX today. Starship is yet to prove a successful orbital flight, but customers are already lining up to use its services. Missions like the Polaris program and Dear Moon project will be launched on Starship rockets. You may wonder how SpaceX sold all these contracts for a rocket that is still yet to make its debut test flight. Well, it would take a great deal of trust from the customers to sign these contracts. And here comes the role of SpaceX's top gun like Gwyn Shotwell. And finally, another big news is about Starship's landing sites on the moon. Earlier today, NASA announced 13 possible landing regions of the Artemis 3 mission which obviously means Starship's landing zone on the moon. Artemis 3 will mark humans' return to the moon. NASA says each landing zone has nearly 10 possible landing sites or maybe more in some cases. Each of these landing regions lies near the lunar south pole. These regions are considered safe for landing and are previously unexplored by humans. To make all these Starship missions a success, first we need to fire up the 33 engines on Booster 7. Thank you for watching. That is all for this episode. See you in the next video with more updates.